welcome back to this channel in the previous video we looked at the overview of the series that we created already which is the Laravel 5.8 blog website with Vue.js and in this video we're going to create the Laravel project now and as well as configure the database required for these processes to run right now I'm on the Laravel website and oh my god it's looking so revamped from the last thing I saw on this website I've not been here in a while usually I just know the commands to run so I don't need to come to the documentation but let's just go through it together the most important part here is this documentation and in the documentation the version we are looking at is 5.8 because I feel like that's still the most stable one although I can see 6.0 here already as at the time I'm making this video but I want to do 5.8 now and this is the most important part you need to have composer on your system if you don't have that you can search on Google how to get composer install it on your system and with that you'll be able to install Laravel this is the very important command that we need to run composer creates projects the preferred distribution is Laravel and uses the command Laravel and then the name of the project so in we're going to call this project Laravel blog vu okay so I'll open a terminal I'm using a Mac on your Windows it's just simply open your command prompt and type this command composer create project preferred distribution with Laravel slash Laravel and now the name of the project is Laravel blog view. this will take a little while so I'll pause this video until this process is done thereafter we'll continue with configuring of the database and then we'll wrap it up all right the download is done and I must say that this scaffolding took a little while and this depends on your network as well so the first thing I want to do is to dump this folder in my server folder and this depends on whichever server you're using for me I'm using MAMP because this is Mac you might be using WAMP for Windows or ZAMP for Linux basically for Windows you need to drop this folder in your www folder right and for ZAMP as well you should do that in your htdocs and the same applies to MAMP so I'll do that right now Oops. So why that is copying, let me quickly open the IDE, the Integrated Development Environment, where I'll be writing my codes. And in this case, I love the Visual Studio code. You want to ask me why? Because it has a ton of extensions in the marketplace for developers who are writing different languages. And these extensions give you, in one way or the other, IntelliSense to help you write better codes, readable codes, smart codes, and reusable code as well. And it gives you this help. And when you talk about IntelliSense, developers know the power of IntelliSense. You know, it suggests codes to you, it suggests things to you like methods, like the class names and things like that. And that's why it's my number one go-to IDE. So I'll open it right now and that's where we'll be doing most of the work. It doesn't mean that you cannot use any other IDE. If you have other IDEs apart from Visual Studio Code, it's totally fine. If you have Sublime Text or Notepad++ or Eclipse or NetBeans or whatever IDE you have, it will still do the same job. Okay, okay, so I think that process is complete. We can open the folder.
and this is what it gives us if you were able to successfully create a Laravel project this is the whole structure of the project you have the app bootstrap config database down to the web pack where you have the configurations and this is where the configuration for Laravel is yeah as you can see the Laravel framework is 5.8 that was scaffolded for me even though 6.0 is available already 5.8 was scaffolded for me I didn't select the version it automatically did okay what it does is that it selects the most stable version at a time and scaffolds that for you so every other thing is pretty good and what we can do right now is just to run PHP artisan serve and PHP artisan serve you can find it here immediately after you finish the whole thing this is the command to serve the project okay which is what I'm going to do to send serve just to ensure that this project is working fine okay so already I have a project on 8000 so it served on 8001 let me just quickly close that project why this is why this will be reserved okay so this project is served on 8000 now and so we can view this I will start this up on 8000 and this is a fresh Laravel project with just basic page Laravel docs and what have you okay so our focus here is to create a database so let's quickly do that a bunch of commands that we'll be writing now and if you don't understand what I'm writing please do take some time to go through the Laravel documentation and get familiar with these commands what I'm going to do now is to create a migration file the first one is to create the categories table create categories table okay but then that's the name so what I need to do is php artisan make migration and then create categories table what that does for us is it creates in the migration folder it creates this file called creates categories table as you can see from the highlight okay the next one I want to do is the create post table all of our posts belong to another table okay and that's and that's that now on the categories table all I need here is uh, all I need here is just the name of the category and that would suffice this will be string call this name all right as you can see Laravel has done a lot of work for us if you drop this table this is what will be executed and for the post table what I simply have is this category sorry this will be unsigned okay I can just take this copy category ID is going to be a foreign key on the post table because every post must have a category so I'll call this foreign foreign or category ID references it references ID 
on on this table called categories which we've created earlier and on delete should be cascade okay so I'll do this also for the user this is user ID seen here user ID on users so you want to say hey but we didn't create users table where is it okay Laravel did that for us already and it's there all right so let's continue so one one other thing we need to add is of course the title of the post so this is title Okay, the next thing is description. That's like okay, and that could be nullable. Let's try to put that as nullable. And the last thing is the photo. So every post will carry an image, just like you saw in the in the template we're using, and that's nullable. Okay. Yeah, so I also need to say that Laravel provides this authorization package where we just need to run this command php artisan make auth and it will automatically just scaffold the whole authorization package for us. That includes login, register, reset password, email verification, and the likes. Thanks to Laravel. So, what we need to do now is to migrate these files and on the database we'll be able to see all these tables that we've created so to do that just type php artisan migrate okay there is an error all right so it says assets denied for the user homestead blah 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 if you get this kind of error please don't panic it's a very simple thing what you need to do is come to your environment file which constitutes your environment variables this is what is complaining so there is no database on the server called homestead right now okay so I will just create a simple database that we're going to use for this tutorial and the database name will be Laravel blog okay Laravel blog great okay that's the name Laravel blog okay Laravel blog and I have a, a user called root and the password is also root for me yeah and that's all I need to do when you change things in the environment file you need to run this command sometimes you might run into issues so you need this command clear cache and you also need to run this as well config clear and one more thing let's stop this right here now i can migrate my files okay and that's successful so I can come back here and serve, reserve the project. Okay, so that migration process is successful, and now let's go and see the the tables in our database. And as you can see, you have users table, you have posts, you have categories, and you have the migration that keeps tracks of all the migrations that we've done. And the password reset. This is done by Laravel, and this is also done by Laravel. These are the ones we did. If you were able to get to this point, I congratulate you because you are just one step further from building your own blog. 
in the next video we'll talk about adding the files scaffolding the website using the templates that we have and also creating the template for the backend as well see you in the next